Good morning, everyone, and welcome to what is a very important event in the life of our nation and our school. As we gather together to remember all those who gave their lives in two world wars and in subsequent conflicts. Peace in our world is so precarious and there are so many circumstances where conflict continues to rage. And that makes our acts of remembrance all the more important. As we remember those who stepped up to make a difference, to bring peace in our world, and as we commit ourselves to doing all we can to work for peace. As we remember the sacrifices of those who gave their lives in those two world wars, we are reminded of those who continue to risk and to give their lives in situations of conflict in our world. Our own school community has been affected in more recent times by the deaths of Lieutenant Daniel Clark and Lance Corporal Paul Watkins, who gave their lives in the service of their country in the conflict in Afghanistan. Today, we lay a wreath at our memorial here, but also at their memorial board in their memory. We remember their sacrifice that brought transformation to the lives of the citizens of Afghanistan. And as we fulfill that responsibility of remembering them, we also pray for peace, stability, and security for all those who continue to suffer in Afghanistan. As we remember before God all those who fought and died for the sake of others, we commit ourselves to be instruments of peace in our world, breaking down the barriers and mistrust that fuel conflicts and war. And as part of that act of commitment, we use the words of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Not so much to be seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. above the hills and the people will stream to it. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his paths. The Lord will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between many peoples and will settle disputes with strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into ruins. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they trade for war. Everyone will sit under their own vine, under their own fig tree, and no one will make them afraid, for the Lord Almighty has spoken. All the, all the nations may walk in the name of their gods, but we will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. Here ends the reading. And now some of the members of our club group are going to come and lead us in our prayers. Let us pray. Lord, as we remember 
been full of those who selflessly gave their lives in the service of others. We pray that inspired by their example, we may commit ourselves to working for peace in our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we reflect on the tragedy of war, we pray for a commitment to the cause of peace by all those in positions of power that they may seek to serve the greater good rather than self-interest. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we reflect on the terrible consequences of mistrust between nations, we pray that the barriers that separate nations, races and religions would be broken down. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we remember those who today bring back difficult memories, we pray for all those whose lives continue to be torn apart by war and violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. After our parade has been dismissed, you're all invited to refreshments in the marquee where there will be an opportunity to make a donation to combat stress. Let's right, left, 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 right